Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I kind of have a, kind of a fun one where I'm reversing the hamburger menu and the logo on mobile. So this is putting the hamburger menu on the left side. So um, there's people that want this. Um, some apps and things like that have the hamburger menu on the left. I know it's kind of traditional, you know, obviously with Divi it's always on the right, but but now you'll know how to put it on the left if that's what you want. So let's take a look and I'll show you how to do this. I have a snippet here that's going to work for the menu module. And then down here I have one for the default header menu. So I have one for both, whichever you're using. Um, the first one here is just for the menu module. Now there's not a lot of setup to do this. Really you're just adding the menu module and then a logo. Um, right here I have one set up. So inside the module, um, make sure that you're adding the logo and then obviously I have a, a menu set up. So, you know, it's really, really nothing to it as far as in Divi itself. So we're really just adding the snippet and then we're done. Um, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to use my little Chrome extension so I can show you just live here. Um, and I'll point out again my new feature. Here you can just click the copy. Really clever new thing that we just added. All right, so I'll go back over here to my site. You should be adding code to your child theme CSS file or to the Divi theme options. But for me, since I'm just showing you, I'm going to put it right here. And oh, it changed already. So there you go. It has moved the logo to the right and the navigation to the left. So what are we doing here exactly? Well, it's pretty simple. We're just targeting the menu, or I should say the the container of the navigation and the logo. So it's, this is actually called navigation, you know, um, navigation menu, whatever. But inside the menu module are these two items, of course. So what we're doing is we're actually targeting the container that holds them both. And the reason we're doing that is because so that inside there, we're reversing the items using flex direction row reverse. So that's what the very first part of the snippet is, just flex direction row reverse. And that's doing it, um, that's doing the, the bulk of what you're seeing here. You know, if I was to remove this here, for example, it's just a couple adjustments to spacing and things. So the main bulk is literally one line of CSS. Flex direction, row reverse. Now you could do it with floats and things like that, but I thought this was easier. So the next thing is we're just making sure that everything is aligned properly and spaced out properly um, without a couple of these little adjustments. Um, for example, margin right here on this logo image, um, adding a little margin left. The reason for that, if I take this all away, there's actually some margin and spacing right in here. Um, to the right of the logo. So what we're doing is saying on the right, none, and then on the left, 30. By default, it's the opposite. You know, when I when I had this away, there's 30 pixels of margin right here that you can't see. So if we moved it over, well, then there'd be 30 pixels in from the side. It would be in from the side 30. Well, that don't make any sense. So we're saying zero there, and instead, just to be safe, we're putting the 30 on the left instead. So, uh, little things like that. Uh, the middle one here. How can I say align content center and left? I forget exactly why I added that when I was doing this. But there was a good reason. Um, if I find there was not a good reason, I'll remove it. But for now, use the code that I have there. It was something to do with like a little bit of spacing. The way, oh, I know what it was. I know what it was. It's when you have it set up differently, different alignments and things like that. So it's fine. Um, but yeah, so moving on, that's the menu module. But there's also, you know, you can do the same thing to the default. Oh, and by the way, I didn't show you, but on mobile, you know, you get the hamburger menu on the left. So let's show you that real quick. There, maybe I did show you. I don't know. There you go. That works good. So moving on to the other one. So basically this one is also not requiring any setup except having the logo 
in there. I mean, you have to have the logo and the navigation set up, of course, for this to work. So you can see the logo is up in the left. That's where it always is. And the menu is on the right, like usual. And again, this is the default header. This is not the theme builder. Um, the theme builder would be this one, the menu module. Um, so this is just if you're using what comes in Divi by default. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that and I'm going to paste in the new snippet and you can already see that it worked. The logo is now on the right. The menu is on the left and it's the same kind of thing except we're using floats. You know, we're saying logo float right navigation float left. And it's the same kind of thing with the spacing. We want no pad. We don't want any padding on the left over here. Um, and we don't want, or we added some margin right. Um, and then some on the top of up here, the logo, just to make it a little couple things get off um, with the positioning and spacing when we're doing this because it's, you know, by default, it's made to work how it's supposed to. So we're just kind of overriding a few things. But wow, you know, really simple. A couple little snippets, just like that, boom, it's done. Works for either one. I hope that this is um, making your life easier. Solving problems, that's what we do. We have tons of tutorials that do just that. Okay, so there you go. Now you know how to put the hamburger menu on the left side there on mobile. Um, be sure to be checking out our other menu tutorials, like I keep saying. Um, we probably have at least 25 or maybe we're getting close to 30. I don't know, but we have a lot of tutorials and tips and things like that for the menu and the menu module. So, um, this is kind of the, the place to get information and tutorials and hacks and things like that for the menu. Um, and that makes us very happy that you're realizing that and coming here and just finding our videos so helpful, all the feedback, we really appreciate it. Um, just thank you. You know, every week we, we put in a lot of work and a lot of time. So, all right. Well, we'll see you guys in the next video.